But around 11.27 a.m. New York time, the jury bell rang uh, and that signified that a verdict had been reached. Uh, then a letter was passed to Judge James Burke and he said, we have a verdict. And then the jury foreman uh, came out and uh, uh, delivered that verdict. Uh, Weinstein found guilty uh, on two of those five sex crimes charges, first degree sexual assault, third degree rape, but not found guilty of predatory sexual assault. Weinstein uh, listened as those uh, that verdict was read out. Looking straight ahead, his uh, one of his attorneys uh, later told reporters that following that verdict, Weinstein repeated three times, I am innocent, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. How can this happen in America? And then shortly after that, Weinstein uh, was handcuffed and led out of the courtroom. And now he'll be spending the night in prison. Jessica, what was the reaction from both sides in this case? Well, we had mixed reactions to this verdict. Uh, listening to the reaction from the silence breakers, that's a group of women who say that they have all been harassed uh, or, or assaulted sexually uh, or even raped. Uh, some of them accuse Weinstein of rape by Harvey Weinstein. Uh, they said that uh, they were happy for the brave women who took the stand in this trial, that they do have justice, but also that they were disappointed uh, that the more serious charges, that he was not found guilty of those and that he will not face the maximum prison sentence that he could have faced life behind bars had he have been found guilty of uh, predatory assault. However, uh, there is a sort of sigh of relief as uh, there were a few points during this trial when it was thought that perhaps Harvey Weinstein might get off and there might be a hung jury. That did not turn out to be the case. He will face uh, between five and 25 years uh, behind bars. One of the women who testified, uh, Rosie Perez, she tweeted uh, a while earlier. Uh, she had uh, come to testify uh, to support the claim of her friend Annabella Shora, an actress who had said that Weinstein had raped her in the early 90s, violently raped her. She had said that, well, she was sort of happy to see Weinstein in handcuffs, but also gutted for her friend Annabella Shora because, of course, uh, that uh, charge of predatory sexual assault was based on those claims from Shora. And so it would seem that at least one member of the jury did not believe her. Weinstein inevitably, Jessica, will appeal. Yes, his lawyers have said that he is definitely going to uh, appeal uh, and that this is not over yet. Uh, 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 Donna Rotuno, his lead attorney, said that, you know, Harvey Weinstein uh, took this verdict like a man, but that he knows it's not over. We're going to have the sentencing on March 11th from Judge Burke, and uh, then uh, we will have an appeal as well from his attorneys. They've been laying the ground for that all along uh, with their arguments. And where, Jessica, does this leave the Me Too movement? So for the Me Too movement, this is a very important moment. Harvey Weinstein did not get off. He's been found guilty. They might have wanted him to be found guilty on the more serious charges, but at least this is something. And members uh, of female activist groups campaigning for the victims of uh, uh, sexual crimes. They have said uh, that, you know, this will help other victims to come forward uh, and to seek justice, uh, to prosecute those who have committed crimes against them. But the struggle continues. This is not yet enough and more needs to be done. Still, this is a, this is a beginning. This is at least something for the victims of sexual violence.